Kaylin Patterson, Midwest Muscle, sponsored by P4P. Actually, I'm in the house with P4P, P4P Sports, and P4P Muscle, and then there's the competitor as well. I'm just excited. This is the PNBA Illinois, Natural Illinois State. We got all kinds of stuff going on in the background. Great show, great competition. Uh, actually, the OCB guy looks pretty good on the running. Great lean physiques out there. He's talking about being a power lifter. A lot of them are crossing over genres. P for Speed Sports actually crossing over a genre what we used to have as far as just muscle. Now it's grown in the in the in the sports as well, which I always considered uh, bodybuilding the sport. But I guess people are still learning that that it actually is. I'm here with Joe. I'm here with Chad. I'll start with Joe first. Joe, you you've already been on. You've talked with Phaedra. Now you've already spelled out what's happening in in that reign what you want to go but it's like what's happening with the muscle side and then i'll get with chad about what's going on with the sports side sure uh p for p muscle right now we've got a lot of exciting changes coming all at the same time um we were sampling today a new grasshopper moose pie protein it's off the chain the feedback was phenomenal and i'm not really a mint fan that's so what everybody's saying yeah. man even even people that aren't mint fans like man this is good so i mean it's gonna go it's gonna go big um so that's gonna be into production this week and uh, within six weeks you'll see that out we've also got alter ego version 2.0 coming out um two new flavors um it's new completely water band free um a band substance free product and uh, you know sometimes things happen and, and it pushes you along a little faster than mm -hmm. you had originally planned and uh, you know with an ingredient from a cocoa extract that's now on the WADA banned substance list for day of competition use mm -hmm. and our old product we decided to move ahead quicker and just get rid of that and we also got rid of everything that's on the monitoring program as well that's really popular in pre-workouts mm -hmm. so even the synephrine is gone even though it didn't have to be we wanted to be ahead of that curve yeah. and, and get rid of that and do what we could in the best possible manner for natural athletes whether it's a person competing today mm -hmm. you know on a show like this that has to abide by the water rules or whether it's somebody in chad's world that's an ncaa athlete or mm -hmm. somebody who is a professional hockey player or whatever the case is we just wanted to make sure we have the best products and to earn the trust of athletes everywhere that if you want to come get good supplements that are ultra high quality that you can take without worry p for p is the place that you go mm -hmm. now I, you, you're being real humble about this because I, I know with with the alter ego and the concern over it uh, thank you andrea for you know being a heads up and actually pointing out and sharing that information but you guys were sending out email you had tyann sending out email you jb sending out email everybody was sending out an email to make sure we got the information so we had a heads up. It wasn't like, well, you know, let them figure it out or, or, or let's hope they get passed with the screen and their drug test. You were putting it out as soon as you found out the information. So, you know, I appreciate your humbleness, but let's be honest, that's something that's not, uh, that did, wasn't necessarily needed to be done because it was happening so, you know, so fast. And it, it, you had it out with, I think it was uh, three hours to me. And I was thinking I was one of the later ones to know because Diane had hit me up again. And I just respect that, you know, especially having a, a sponsor that's doing that kind of work. It's just wow. And now we're going to cross over to Chad because we're talking about the sports side of it. Because, then, you know, like I said, I consider bodybuilding a sport because of all the work, all the dedication, all the sacrifice. If, if it's not work, then I don't know what it is. Now, you were the first time I met you. We, you know, we've spoken, but the first time I met you was at one of the, uh, the MMA fights. And I was thinking, oh, well, they're just going to cover uh, mixed martial arts. But it seemed like every week there's a new uh, genre jumping in. So you want to update us with that? Yeah. So um, originally sports came about um, when I first met Joe and JB. And uh, these guys are very passionate about natural athletes. And um, I fit right at home with them because I'm the same way. And I was honestly looking for a product that was safe and effective for athletes because my world, strength and conditioning, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff out there that we worry oh, about goodness, athletes yes. taking and stuff. So um, I've always been kind of anti-supplement because there's not really a whole lot you can trust out there. And then before um, all this came about, they just started talking to Joe and I said, you know, I hear you're launching a new line. Mm -hmm. um, can I see the label? And he's like, well, we don't quite have it yet, but we can talk. <laughs> so we, we met up and um, we talked about the line. And I said, this is phenomenal. There's nothing like this. And all athletes need this mm -hmm. because they need to feel safe and yes. uh, feel secure with what they're taking when they're competing. Mm -hmm. um, and so we just got to talking. And um, I'm, a, I'm passionate about both worlds, the bodybuilding and the sports side, too. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know there's a need on both sides. So yes. we just got to talking and said, hey, we got to get this out to the other athletes too. 
um, that need this support as well. You know, not only on the you know supplement side, but also on the financial side. You know, mm-hmm. um, everyone tends to think that on the sports side they're they're in the money and it's stuff like that, but it's a grind. Yeah. There's hockey players living in other people's homes trying to make it to the show. You right. know, there's MMA pro MMA full time jobs while they're a professional athlete and everybody thinks it's all glorified but in reality they're not making that much until they're on the top of the top the you know tier, yeah. so it's uh it's a tough world too and it's kind of those things that due to marketing you don't really see that side of it yes. you know um but when you're in that world you kind of know how it goes you know and that's why i these guys were so passionate about it and i said all right well we got to talk because in the sports world it's needs just as much as in the bodybuilding world and i love both sides of it so mm-hmm. let's make something happen so um, things got rolling and then we started getting the sports side rolling and this is where we're talking about like the MMA fighters, hockey players, OCR athletes everywhere um, that are in the same boat, you know, mm-hmm. want a safe and effective product and also have some financial support as well because that stuff is com- uh, competition costs are very expensive. So travel, all that kind of stuff. So that's where how sports kind of developed and we're a great team because these guys are the most passionate guys I've ever met and we get along because we're all grinders, we work very hard. And we want the best for the athlete. You know, everything we're doing, it's all about the athlete. And that's what I love about it. So I'm so comfortable working with Joe and JB, making this happen. um, Because they're at the same level mindset that let's get this done, let's grind it. And Mm -hmm. also have, we have the passion behind it. You know, we're, so many trips, we've been day in, day out, four hours of sleep if we're lucky, you know. And it's like, it's fun because we're doing it because we're passionate about it. But, you know, it's a grind. And I love that they're there and always thinking, what's the next step, you know. They're not comfortable with this is where we're at. We got to get bigger, better for these athletes, you know. Yeah. And that's that's what I love about it. So, and I, I want to be thankful. I want to say thanks to Joe and JB for even believing in me that we could make this happen together, you know. Exactly. So I never really got a chance to do that, but I appreciate them letting me come in mm-hmm. and be with them on this journey. So I'm very appreciative of that. So now there's a lot of uh, new sports editions that you know like i said it, it started what i saw was mma but now it's grown into what what i think what the uh well you you fill us in on some of the, the categories you've been covering oh sure yeah we're i'm we're all athletes um as far as you know we we interview the athlete just like Boxing, on the bodybuilding side yep MMA. so we got boxers mma cyclists you know mm-hmm. you name it uh inline skaters now like Anybody that we feel is a good fit and mm. believes in the same dream that we do, uh, we'll take them on, you know. And uh, it's the same kind of concept on both sides. They, they're natural, they're passionate, and they want to get, you know, their image out too. You know, it's part of that too is mm-hmm. these natural athletes are all kind of on the same level and no one knows who each other are. And the cool thing about this is we're, we've got two worlds colliding right now. Yes. Like we have MMA athletes that are now like great friends with pro bodybuilders. Yeah. And like before, you'd never see that. Um, one of my favorite pictures of so far that when we've all been together was Meshack and uh, Kevin Schultz together taking a picture like this. Yes. And uh, Kevin Schultz is one of our pro MMA athletes. And uh, it's just so cool because now they communicate. And uh, it's just awesome to see two worlds collide with the same dream. You know, mm-hmm. so it's awesome. I love it. And, you know, the good thing about uh, supplementation, because, you know, I, I think people see us and they say, well, you know, their life must be perfect. And it, it's like it's a misnomer. And it, it kind of. It, it, it doesn't hurt me, but it's like, oh, well, you, you're just uninformed. But without stuff like this, they don't get that information because there's so much going on. You say you got people that are working two jobs that are basically supporting their children, that are basically trying to find time to even think about fitness, much less get into it. So that means sometimes their diet suffer, their, their health suffers, their life suffer because all that is out of alignment because without supplementation, they don't get it from their regular diet. So, you know, the fact that, you know, Joe and JB did so much to make sure that we were getting the stuff naturally and and, and, and on a health wise without health risk. It does take a lot of trust because a lot of people are doing blind trust, getting into these supplements, and then they're finding out later on at, at, at these shows, you know, you failed because there's an unlisted product yep. in there that that are, are causing people these failures. And that's got to hurt, you know, like you said, with you being so driven and getting somebody ready, with Joe being so driven and getting people ready and then sponsoring them. It's like, well, what just happened to watch that failure happen because, well, they didn't want to tr- uh, stick with P4P. Somebody gave them something because they didn't have it the night before. And it's just like, oh, you know, it, for me, it, it, it hurts so much because, you, like I said, you do have the mom and pops doing the work. You do have the people that are basically busting their hind parts, getting ready for something, and then one little thing throws everything off kilter. 
Absolutely. Yeah, I just want to take a, a chance just to, you know, Chad's kind of humble and he's not going to really toot his own horn. So <laughs> I'm going to do it for him a little bit. Um, you know, yeah, you know, we, we, we love working with Chad. I mean, he's he's got a high level degree in exercise physiology and also a CS, CS certification. And he's constantly doing re-education and new credits more than he needs. Mm-hmm. And he coaches and trains professional athletes. You know, he does that for a living mm-hmm. um, all the way up to NHL. MLB players, um, bodybuilders that have started with him and turned pro, and pro athletes that are bodybuilders that are going for pro shows right now. Mm-hmm. So he's somebody that knows this stuff inside and out. You know, okay. so so he was a natural choice. Um, and then you know, on top of that, having the, the passion choice, to go like with it, it. <laughs> you know, having the passion to go with it, and the attitude of, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. You know, somebody said it couldn't be done. Yeah, let's prove them wrong. You That's know? right. So I mean, we we definitely are two peas in a pod there, and you know we. We are glad to have him, and P4P Sports is going to be a success, and it's all his effort. Well, it's already it is a success. I mean, I, I was at the, what is it, the Chosen Few, Chosen Few, and it was a packed house, mm-hmm. a packed house. Now, you know, now I'm not talking about people inside fighting. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about people outside in the seats mm-hmm. where it was just wall to wall there to see. And, I mean, just, you know, for them to be out in that arena and still give shout-outs and props to P4P, and, and Chad, and, you know, to hear that name, and it's like, man, I, I'm a part of this. It's like uh, kind of crazy. <laughs> so, Chad, you know, great job. Thank you. Thanks so much, Joe. Yes, thank you. Thank God you, bless you. Kaylin Patterson, Midwest Muscle. PNBA, thank you for hosting. We are out.